Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up an allometric equation in Excel, and then how to calculate the uncertainty in that equation, and then how to use that equation in predicting an individual and finding the uncertainty in that prediction. So what we have to start with is our X and Y data. For this, we're using tree species, so we're using the dBH in centimeters as our X values and our known masses in grams for our y values and all we're going to do is log transform the data this will make it a lot easier to use so generally we would have a non-linear allometric equation if we use the raw data when we log transform the data we have a more linear equation it's much easier to use and we have equal variance throughout the whole model so all you do is use the log 10 function for all of your data and drag that down. So now we have a new set of data, our log transform data. This will then pop up in our graph that we have and we just use the equation of the regression to get our new uh, constant and coefficient values. So right here we have the constant 2.01 and the coefficient 2.48. So those are then used in this new equation to create a predicted log y. So what we use is all of our log x data and we put it in the equation and then it creates a new predicted y. And then we have to unlog that predicted y to get a y that looks comparable to our known masses. But what we're going to do now is find the difference between our predicted log y's and our known log y's over here on this side. This will help us in our equation later down the line. All we do is drag it down all the way. So then later on when we're calculating our uncertainty in the equation, we're going to use this equation for this is from Yanai 2010 paper about calculating uncertainty. What we're using is the difference between the log known mass and the log predicted mass and finding the sum of those squares and then dividing that by our n which is 15 minus 2 so we're using 13 and then taking the square root of that. Pretty simple equation when you plug it in, but we just want to make sure that we're using our log transform data and our log prediction data. We want to use the diameter 10 to predict how much mass there will be in a 10 centimeter tree. So we just plug in one because that's the log of 10 and into this equation and then the average of those logs and then we use the same output from equation four and that goes at the front of this equation we end up getting one percent for our uncertainty of the prediction of a 10 centimeter individual which is very good we feel very confident so it's going to be very easy and very accurate to calculate the uncertainty in a single individual Thanks for watching. Bye.